All right, so today we're gonna learn about animating a character. First, you take your paintbrush and then you draw out your character like so. And then we're gonna select him and go into modify, convert to symbol. And we're gonna give him a character name. Okay. And then we go down to our timeline and to make a move, we're gonna right click it and say create classic tween. And you'll notice the timeline turns into purple with little dots on it. So if you want your character to move, we go up to this transform tool and we can move the anchor point around, which as you can see, if we rotate our character, right now it's rotating in the center. But if we move our anchor point down, you'll see it rotates around the anchor point underneath. So we're gonna use that as sort of our center of gravity where the character, all of his actions take place. So we're gonna go down uh, about right here and we're gonna press F6 to insert a keyframe and we're just gonna stretch him up. So all good animation has what's called squash and stretch in it, which brings things to life. And then we're gonna go here and then we're gonna squish him down just like that. And then if you hold alt and drag the first keyframe, we can drag it down and you'll see on the arrow key a little plus symbol will appear that will copy our keyframe. So now we've got a little squash and stretch. So now let's give it some sound. We go up, we just created a new layer with the new layer button and we're just going to click on the first blank keyframe and we're going to go into our properties menu and we already have a sound imported so we're just going to select our dialog here and if I press enter it'll play. So right now he's not matching up to the lip sync so we're just going to drag our keyframes over. We're going to just edit the animation a little bit more. Add in a second little squash and stretch right there. And then again we're copying the original keyframe from frame 1 over here. And now when we play it, let's give him a little more stretch actually. Let's see how that looks. Pretty good. And that's how you animate a character. Now you know Flash.